Hello guys and welcome to the video. In today's video we are continuing to talk about Instagram and today's topic is Instagram Reels. So after a really two successful videos about Instagram posts and stories, it's time to talk about Instagram Reels. We are going to talk on how to upload high quality Instagram Reels without losing quality. So let's begin. So we are going to divide this into a couple of steps. First, how to record your video then how to set the right sequence settings, how to export your video, how to transfer your video to your phone and how to upload your video to Instagram. So let's start with the first one. So the first step is how to record your video. This is probably the step that you don't really need to care about much, but if you're planning to upload a reel to Instagram, why not pay a little bit attention to it? Uh, so, it doesn't really matter in what resolution and frame rate you're recording, but just avoid 4K and 60fps. 4K is still not supported by Instagram and the same applies to 60fps. So, even though if you record your video in 4K and 60fps, you will probably need to downscale it after in post. And trust me, if you downscale a 60fps to 30fps, the video will look a little bit weird. Any other settings will work fine, so don't sweat it. But if you're planning to be perfect, just record the video in the same resolution that you want to edit it, and that's the one that you're going to see later in the video. So the next thing is to transfer your videos from your uh, phone DSLR camera to your PC. Quick note, this is really important. If you're transferring your videos from a DSLR camera, you will be fine because you're transferring uh, from a SD card and a pure MP4 video. But if you're transferring your uh, videos from your phone, uh, depending on the format, you need to transfer them via cable or by using a platform like Google Drive or Dropbox. Don't use social media or even email to transfer your videos because they're going to lose their original quality and you're ruining your video before even starting. Now it's time to put our video in the right sequence settings. For this video we are going to use Premiere Pro, as you know this channel is all about Premiere Pro. So when you open a new project in Premiere Pro, go to the media tab, right click, new item and then sequence. You can choose from all the presets here, but what we are going to do is going to choose this digital SLR. Don't worry, we are going to change the settings later. So go to digital SLR, 1080p and then DSLR 1080p 30 and go to settings. In the settings you need to make sure uh, the resolution is right. So this resolution is right, but it's in landscape. We need it in portrait, so we need to switch these two values. So in the first type 1080 and in the second uh, 1920 and make sure that the aspect ratio is 9 by 16. For the frame rate, uh, just keep this 29.97 no matter what resolution you were recording with. Uh, so let me explain. Most of the filmmakers like me are recording their videos in 24 frames per second because it looks the most natural. But Instagram doesn't really uh, recognize that they're not matched and it's not going to make any difference. So no matter what frame rate you're recording with, you're going to be okay. As I said, if you really want a good quality Instagram reel, just uh, use these settings as, uh, as I'm showing here for recording and also for editing. And uh, any other setting in these windows are okay. Uh, the last thing we need to do is uh, create our sequence, but we can save this preset as well. So we can have it for later. Let's say IG Reels and click OK. Now it needs to show here at uh, the bottom of all of our presets. Yep, there it is. And we can type our sequence name. Let's say the same IG Reels and just click OK. And with that, we created our sequence settings. After we created the sequence, you can put our video in it. So here I have a video of me talking. I'm gonna put it right on the sequence. Now, I don't know what you're going to do with your video, maybe edit your video or not, that depends on you, but I'm gonna jump to the most important step and that is the export. After you edit your video, select it. This is really important. And then go to file, export, and then MIDI. And a new window will pop up. Now, for the format, make sure it's H.264, this is really important, and for the presets, it's match source high bitrate. If it's anything else, just choose this one and you'll be okay. Now, the output name, this is really important because it's not just the name, it's the location of your file. So click on it, you're gonna choose your location, I'm gonna go to desktop, type IG Reels ready, with all caps, and click save. Now we can go to the video. 
Here we have uh, the resolution of the video. If it's right, it's okay. If it's not, you can just uncheck this box here and you can change the resolution. If you go down, you can do the same with the frame rate. If it's right, it's okay. If not, you can uncheck the box and then change the frame rate. But for us, it's okay. And we're gonna go and click here on check. Field order, it's okay. Aspect, it's okay. And make sure that render at maximum depth is checked because this is really important and it's going to make the quality even better. Now let's go down. This is really not important. If you have hardware decoding, it's okay. If not, software is gonna do just fine. And what we're gonna do, we are going to jump to bitrate setting. This is probably the most important tab. This is where the quality is made. So, uh, if we download a video from Instagram, we can see that the bitrate is around 2 to 3. And if you type uh, what's the, the, the actual bitrate for an Instagram video, it says 4. So what we're going to do, first of all, we're going to go to this drop-down menu here. And we're going to choose WBR 2-pass. And now we have target bitrate and maximum bitrate. For the target bitrate, we're going to put 3 and for the maximum bitrate, we're going to put 4. And that's enough. If we go down, nothing else. For the audio, just make sure that all these settings are the same. If anything is other than this, just change it like it's here in this video. And I think that's okay. And if this box use maximum render quality, it's not checked, make sure to check it. And now you can click export if you want to export the video immediately or if you want to transfer your video to media encoder and edit something else in Premiere Pro, you can just do that. But for this video, I'm gonna go and click export here. And that's basically it. And now you have your video ready for uploading, but there's one more step we need to do before uploading it on Instagram. And that is to transfer our video from our PC to our phone. I already mentioned this one before, but I'm gonna say it again. Don't transfer your videos via social media platforms, not even email, because that is going to make a dramatic change in quality. Instead, use platforms like Google Drive or Dropbox, or if you're using iPhone and Mac, just use AirDrop. And after you transfer your video to your phone, you're ready to upload it to Instagram Reels. And you should probably have the best quality possible for your Instagram Reels. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, make sure to like it and don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you can see more videos like this one. Until then, peace.